everyone welcome to Body living with brie i am cooking some soup you know how you have that craving and you just nothing else would do you just have to have it so i want a soup today for dinner <laughs> so today what i want to share with you is this little daily cooking station now if you guys been with me a while this is an update for where it used to be if i remember correctly i think i created that two three years ago I will link the video in the iCard above <coughs> and if you want to check that out. But I updated it because I wanted something a little bit more simpler and a little bit more accessible and less wear and tear on my drawer. But this little thing is uh, so cute. It was white and we painted it and it was from Ikea. So if you want to know how I put this together and what is involved, how it's set up, stay tuned. I purchased this basket from Ikea. I think it's the cutest thing. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint it black. So we're going to take it out of this packaging. Have some screws here and our Ikea instruction booklet. Oh, it also has a little wooden thing. I think this is a uh, divider that goes in here. I see there's a slot. The nice basket. That is so cute. And then we have the handles or the stands. So it can be either or. I am going to paint this black. Now, it has a shiny surface of white on here. But the primer that I'm using is like a black shiny primer and paint, spray paint. So we're going to use that on here. I haven't decided if I'm going to paint this or not. If I do, it will probably be white or a like a dark taupe. I'm still debating on that. This looks very nice. It only needs one coat. I'm still thinking about painting those other pieces, but I don't know if I want to paint them white or leave it natural or another color, maybe a taupe. I'm making sure that I'm getting all the black because I see a lot of white in here in those grills. package in the mail yesterday out here are some Ikea merchandise that I purchased um, sorry for the paper loud and they really have it in here guys they got it wrapped up in all sorts So let me wrap this. Oh, I see what they done. Okay. So there is one. Okay, everyone. So this is what was in that package. So basically what I have is a large jar, which is a nice little cork on top. And then we have a little smaller one. Then we have two sets of condiment trays here. So my idea is to use, try to use both of these sets, but I don't know if they're all going to fit. But I know I'm going to use this, and that's going to be oil or vinegar. And this one would be oil or vinegar, or they both be either canola oil and olive oil. These smaller ones would be some sort of seasoning jars and they are so cute. Look at this. Isn't that the cutest? Has a little spoon to go with so you can carefully measure out your... How do they even have directions in here? There's something. 
you can carefully measure out your seasonings. I think this is probably a teaspoon, but I measured to find out. And I think this is the cutest thing. I didn't expect it. It came with a spoon. And we have four of these, and I know I'm going to use two of them as salt and pepper. And if I can have, if I have enough room, I will use the other two for other seasonings. But that's what these two are going to be. So now the largest one here will be will house. Um, fresh herbs or either dried herbs and this one probably would be bay, bay leaves because it's so large and this one would probably be dill because those are the two herbs that I use on a regular basis so that's what go in these two and I think it would turn out very very well I'm really really loving it so that's what we have and that's what we go in those in that uh, basket I also have some letterings that I'm going to put on top of each of these so we know what they are. And I thought these little cursive uh, letters would be very, very cute. I'm just hoping that it would show on the darker one. And the only thing that I don't like so far about this is this cork is not the color the same as those, but that's okay. Um, I can't paint them, so it has to stay like this. We just have to deal with it. <laughs> Unless I can find um, a darker cork for white mouth jars on Amazon. And if they have it, then I'll change them out. But I don't think they will. So that's what we have, guys. So all this is will be going inside that basket, I hope. So before we bring in the new, we must get rid of the old. And if you've been with me a while, you know that this is what I was using for my daily essentials cooking supplies. And it worked very, very well. It has everything in here that I need for breakfast, lunch, and sometimes dinner that I need for cooking. And it had vinegar, oils, a timer, utensils, a seasonings, so on and so forth. And it worked very, very well. The problem was opening up this drawer daily four or five, six times a day would put wear and tear on the drawer. And the drawer wouldn't set good in here sometimes it comes off track sometimes it wouldn't close all the way so I decided to upgrade a little bit into something better and that's what this video is all about so what we're going to do we're going to take everything out of here and we're going to use this drawer for something else beautifully love the black color how it pops the counter what we decided to do was stain the legs and also the divider that's inside here I thought it would be gorgeous if the stain was the same color as my kitchen cabinets so that's what we stained it in a cherry color for it to match the cherry wood on the cabinets and I think it's just simply gorgeous what I also did is on the bottom I put in some felt so it won't scratch up the bottom of the legs here and it also won't make that noise when the bin is moving back and forth on the counter and here is the divider I may use this I may not use it it all depends on if I need a extra room for an extra bottle or jar or what have you but for right now we're gonna see how everything sets in here and I will make that decision if I want to use this or not but I love how this turned out I think it's just gorgeous very modern so much better than that white and I think it's perfect 
So now what I'm going to share with you is the drawer that I emptied out to uh, update my daily cooking essentials. I turned it into a, a dish towel and dish rag drawer. And before I share that with you, I wanted to share with you how I fold my dish towels and dish rags. Uh, just something that uh, I think you probably would appreciate. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Let's kind of back this up a little bit so you can see. This dish towel is about 24 inches long or maybe a foot wide. And since it's so long, we are going to go ahead and fold this in half. Now, we want to make this as even as possible because we don't want the edges to be uneven and that takes away the, from the look of our fold. So we're gonna make this as even as possible. Now we have a somewhat even kind of square. Now what we're going to do is turn it on a diagonal and we're gonna have the flap here at the bottom and then we're gonna have the other corner with the fold at the top. Now make sure when you do this that the tag is in the inside so that won't show in your fold. Now we're gonna take this corner and we're going to fold it inward and we're gonna make a little half triangle on this side. We're gonna take the other corner and we're gonna fold it inward and we're gonna make another triangle on the other side. So basically what you're doing, you have this like kind of a cannoli look to it with two points and you have a tube here. So that's what we have so far. And now what we're going to do, we're gonna turn it over also, here's a tip before we turn this over. You see this nice little triangle we have right here at the top. That's what you want to um, accomplish when you do your folds. Make it a nice little even triangle. Don't make it too fat on this side or too long on one side because then it won't work um, as good. So you want to make sure that you have a nice triangle. Even if the bottom is not a nice triangle, that's okay. That is where we're going to roll. And I'll, I'll share that with you, the reason why once we start folding. So we're gonna turn this over, and now we have a nice back side with two points, at e with a point at each end. You're gonna take the bottom toward you, and you're gonna fold it up just a little bit. It all depends, on, I mean, you can fold it to the halfway point if you want. It all depends on how big of a roll that you want, or, you know, it's your preference. And then we're gonna start rolling a tight, fold. So we're going to start rolling evenly. You don't want this to kind of poke out on each side. So you're going to make sure you kind of roll that evenly. And then what happens is you see that V from the back side when we did that even diamond or even box. That's what this is. And the reason I said even, see I didn't do too well here because you can see you can see the folds, they're not even. So basically what I would do is just fold that under like that because I didn't make it even. But there it is now, it's kind of even. And you have this point here, and basically what you want to do is take this point and tuck it inside. And you have a nice little snug area where you can tuck that. And you have a nice little roll, very cute that you could put inside the drawer. So now we're going to do the dish rag. That probably will look better um, because that's white and you can really see the folds. Because here's our dish rag. So we have a tag that you can hang the dish rag up and then we have the inside tag there with all the instructions. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn this around and put this at the bottom because that's what we're going to roll up. We take our side corners and we put that toward the center, just like we did the towel. And we do the other side, just like that. And make sure that our box up here is squared evenly. So we have a nice little box. Now, if you want your towels all to be the same side, you can take your, your row that you rolled first and you can measure how big or how small you need to make this. For example, this is a previous row that I have. If I put this on the end, then that lets me know this is a bit too big. So I can fold in some more, making sure that my box up here is a nice little box. And then I can measure again 
and that's close enough. So it's okay if the bottom is not a box, guys, because that's where you're going to roll from. So that's okay. So then we're going to turn this over. Okay. Then we flip the end toward the top, and we just start rolling, just like we did with the towel. And this is the reason why you want the box at the top to be even, because then your point is there in the center. And you take this and fold it in. Cute little row. And once you have all your towels rolled up, and now I'm going to share with you what it looks like in a drawer. Okay, everyone. So this is what it looks like when I put the camera above. You can see how everything kind of come together. So as we come to our bin, we have all the jars in here that I can... I can put in here. There's about two jars that I couldn't put in, but I put the basic cooking essentials here. So we have our cooking oil, salt and pepper, our bay leaves, and our dill. And those are the things that I normally use when I cook every day. Uh, also, I decided not to use the lettering because the lettering did not have a clear background. It had a white background, and that didn't look too nice against this wood. It would have been nice if it was a clear background and you can see the black leathering but we didn't uh, despair we just <laughs> decided to write it and I think I had a good enough handwriting that it came out okay and we have C for cooking oil and then of course S and P for salt and pepper so uh, that's how everything came out in our nice little bin we do have enough room here on the side to add something if I decide to take this out and so I haven't decided if I wanted to add anything on it on the side I wanted this to be nice and clean and modern looking with not too much sticking out uh, everywhere then we come down to our cutting board this cutting board is by crate and barrel and it's slate I love the cut edges here around the around all edges. I love that kind of chipped away stone look. I think that is so, so nice. And on the back side, it is covered in a nice protective felt that protects the slate and also protect your counters. And like I said, it's from Crate and Barrel. I paid about, I think it was 50, might have been a little bit more than that. This is about a let's see a foot wide and about 20 or 22 inches long so a nice little cutting board that you can use uh, when you get ready to cut up your vegetables or you can also use this as a charcuterie board when you get ready to entertain for the holidays or what have you this makes a nice little charcuterie board uh, a nice size then you come down from the counter and we have the drawer here and here is where my dish towels and dish cloths are stored. So here you go everyone. This is what it looks like. I am loving it. We have our six towels at the top, three white and three black, four dish rags, two whites and two blacks, and then we have the rest of the dish rags here just folded up for my husband's sake if he just wants to just grab it instead of just unrolling. I got to make everything easy for him so <laughs> <laughs> you'll put things back like they should but anyway I'm thinking this is a better idea than using the everyday cooking essentials that I had in here because you won't go in the drawer on a constant basis several times a day I will use a dish rag and a dish towel once a week so I think that cuts down on the wear and tear of this drawer so I think that is a perfect solution I am happy with it so I'm going to share everything with you to see what it looks like so that would do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I gave you some ideas and some inspiration. If you're interested in any of the items that I share with you today, they will be listed in the description box, all the details and the pricing and the sizes and things in that nature. So I will see you guys on the next one. Well, that would do it for me, loves. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you're new to the channel, hey, my name is Bree, and welcome to Model Living with Bree. If you like what you see, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I appreciate it. It helps me a lot. And also, click the notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. For all of my family members, mwah, thank you so much for being here today and joining me for this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Smooches!